Welcome to our second chapter today. Right here, a short revision from our process. So we have a straight from V-Ray frame buffer saved image, the final result after whole process, and the two images that I have saved in the meantime just to be sure I was going in the right direction. Let's jump into 3ds Max and we can choose the render setup and in V-Ray in the render elements we can add additional channels we can save after the rendering. And usually we can save the V-Ray Z-Depth channel which is very handy when you want to add the depth of field effect inside of Photoshop or any other plugin that uh, can use a depth map and here we can in the z-depth parameters set the z-depth minimum distance and maximum distance as well so we can have control on the focus area we can also add other elements like the V-ray row reflection which will be a map that uh, will show us exactly the row reflections from our scene also refraction is also very helpful and we can to these two channels also add additional channels like V-Ray reflection filter which can be used as a mask for this row reflection and also refraction filter which is right here also very helpful and these are the basic channels I'm using very often during the post-production process so let's jump now back to Photoshop and right here we have the refraction channel we have also the alpha channel we have the reflections reflection filter and row reflections as well I have also saved the first rendering right here and of course uh, the end result to so we can compare in the end our effect and to create this effect I have probably spent like two hours so will not do exactly the step by step you know creating all the layers but in general I will try to show you the main ideas and the main steps so let's start with this very very basic rendering and I will now duplicate the layer and first I need to get rid of this overexposed area so I will press ctrl L to display the levels and we can just make it a bit darker and also I will change the color to a bit more maybe a blue, maybe some red sound like this and I will add a mask and I will fill this with a black color just to make it invisible and now with a very soft brush I will paint over my sky right here Okay, that's looking a bit better, so it's not so strong overexposed. And we don't need to be very accurate, just the main feeling, if it's right, then that's correct for us. Now I will match, match the layers and duplicate my layer once again, and I will apply a color correction on the whole image. So I will make it maybe more orange. And right now we have the alpha channel right here. So you can also save the file as PNG, then the alpha channel will be saved automatically to your image. But I will choose to create an alpha channel with calculations. So we have here calculations, add a mask. And right now we could use a sky texture. And once again, you can visit the CG textures.com site and download a nice dark moody texture and uh, I will use probably this sky which is pretty clouded so control and click on the thumbnail control C to copy your image and right now I will choose 
the alpha channel so once again just click on the channel with pressing control control shift i to invert the selection and control shift v to paste your sky and at the same time create a mask so I will scale it up a bit and now it's looking a bit better but uh, the color of the sky and my image does not fit so maybe I will go back to my images and I will try to change the color just a bit to make it more blue maybe something like this and that's a bit better I will also tweak the color of my sky and now we are good to go so we can duplicate the layers once again merge the layers and I will add some more contrast to the foreground to make the asphalt look a bit better and we don't need to worry about we're getting some strange effects in the background because we are just want to take care of the elements sorry right here in the front so that's looking pretty okay and maybe it's too blue so I will add a bit red and yellow colors and right now I will create another mask and I will just paint over the area where I want to add these colors and you know what maybe I will add even a bit here this maybe not but I will duplicate this layer now I will make it visible and uh, this contrast is looking not so bad but the color has to dark blue so I will add a bit more warm colors and maybe even desaturate this image just a little bit and now I will cover with black color the whole mask to make it invisible and I'll try just with uh, opacity maybe to 50% something like this to paint in this area maybe also on the edge that's looking not, not so bad let's add some brighter colors above the building now this image is looking much much better but still we need to do a lot of work so here's the first channel so we can compare in the end the light changes and now I like to add some more orange color to the interiors and we have already used this technique uh, in lecture with uh, winter scenes but we'll do it once again and we can choose the reflection filter to do this so first uh, I will crash the white tones so I can select my reflective elements this is a good way but uh, right now I have also uh, on my mask as white elements so I will select also this aluminium elements on my image and that's not my goal so maybe I will choose a different channel let's try out the uh, refraction channel and it's right here So I, maybe I would just copy this channel and I will create a new file just to save it and then create calculations. Oh, that's the sky, sorry. Copy. paste and save your image